I am going to show you today how to draw within CapCut. There's three ways I'll show you today. One is through your mobile phone, which is the easiest, and the other two are how to do it on CapCut PC. Let's get started. Let's use the iPhone app first, which I said was the easiest. Open up a new project in your iPhone app, click text, and scroll at the bottom all the way to the right and find draw. Now it's simple and all you have to do is choose your cursor and your color and simply use your finger to draw on the screen. I'm gonna write hi. Now when I look at my project, that word of hi is going to be an overlay on top of my video. Now let's look at a PC tutorial on how to do this. It's a bit harder. You can see from the PC app, there's nowhere to draw. So what we're gonna do is get creative and open up Paint 3D on your PC and click New. From here, we're gonna choose our marker and our color and you can choose your thickness. And I'm just gonna draw a heart. Now I'm gonna right click on my canvas and click Canvas Options and make sure it is a transparent background. Now I'm going to save my file, save as an image, and it's gonna be saved as a PNG and I'm gonna label it heart. Now going back to my project, I'm gonna import that into my project by clicking import, finding my file, and open. Now I'm going to add it to my track and move it to the top to create it as an overlay. Since I already had a transparent background, it is already transparent and I can resize it, rotate it to wherever I want it to be. I can even add animations to it like this one to give it a little bit of flair. Now option two on the PC is a bit more complicated, but pretty cool. I use a software called OBS Studio that I've downloaded on my PC. And what this does is record my screen. What I'm gonna do is actually record a screen grab of myself drawing and then importing it as an overlay. So here I am, I'm recording my screen. I'm going to do the same thing where I'm choosing my brush can change the color, the thickness, and I'm, this time I'm just gonna write hide again with a exclamation point and stop recording. I even added a little heart to the end of my exclamation point. Okay, so now I'm going to import my recorded session into my CapCut project by adding it to track. It's gonna jump down to the main section of my project, which is fine, we can move it later. Now what I wanna do is find the very beginning of where I started drawing and cut everything out from the left so that it's only going to be the piece of myself drawing in the demo. So I'm gonna stop right here, click on the top and delete everything on the left. Now I'm gonna rewind and go do the same thing and cut everything else out after I stopped drawing, right after the heart. Right about here, I'm going to stop and then delete everything on the right from that clip. Now I need to crop the actual video. I'm gonna right click here and click edit and edit ratio. This is gonna allow you to actually crop your video recording to what we want to show. So drag in the sides to just your area of drawing and confirm. Now it is cropped to only my drawing. And now we just wanna remove the background. So with this clip highlighted, click on remove BG for remove background. And I'm gonna do chroma key. We'll need to click the color picker. Oh, select the color picker and then I'm gonna choose the gray. Try this one bit more time. There we go. So anything gray is going to be deleted. I'm gonna change the intensity and you can change the edges and clean up the edges, whatever you wanna do here. Once it looks good, your background is deleted. So now you have a recording of yourself drawing and you can now change this into an overlay 
and put it on top of your video. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this to the top of my video, my project. Now we have an overlay. Now if I were to play it here, you can see it as is in the same size as we cropped it. But I can always change the size and the rotation of it by clicking on the overlay and then just dragging it around, resizing it, rotating it to wherever you want it to be. And now if I go back and hit play, you'll see my drawing appear on my video as an overlay. How cool is that? It is a bit complicated to do this on CapCut PC, but it is possible. I really hope CapCut can come up with a way to make this possible in CapCut PC instead of just CapCut Mobile. And I'm sure within time, this will be available on CapCut PC, but we will just have to wait and see. Until then, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to this page. I appreciate your support.